quick look at codes in Xero that are used for fixed assets and we can actually find them. You can see that there's tabs so we can actually click on the asset tab and then we'll be able to see the fixed asset codes and I'm going to select and I'm going to go for the edit option here again. I'm going to select office equipment. Now the reason I'm going to do this is it's very easy for people to use this code in error. This code is for fixed assets that are going to be held in the business for more than a year. Chances are they're going to be higher value, so I'm going to put a suggestion in here that it's for amounts over £200. But what we want to do is we want to avoid coding small items here by mistake. So if you go and buy a stapler, you wouldn't want it to be coded to office equipment. So when you see this greater than £200, that will just alert you as you're coding the expense for your stapler that maybe that's not the right code to select. And I'm going to do the same with computer equipment. So if you went and bought a new mouse, for example, you would want a code that's called IT expenses, something like that. Computer equipment would not be the right code. So again, if we just put in, in brackets, greater than £200, it will alert you if you go to use that code by mistake. Buildings we're all right with, and so is motor vehicles, but we'll choose plant and machinery. Greater than £200, and then we will choose save.